incredible, incredible to reflect that on the same day, all of these stories about the same, are about the same thing, and no one will knit it together. Postmen join mail strikers. Presents will go undelivered as pressure grows on May to end industrial chaos. Pressure grows on May to end industrial chaos. Pressure doesn't grow on employers to provide assurances that their pensions won't go the way of British home store staff and that their job security isn't some pie-in-the-sky pipe dream that will never be realised. Pressure isn't growing on employers to actually listen to the workers about what will endanger them at work, in prisons or on trains. Pressure isn't growing on May to actually listen to the so-called just-about managings that the vicar's daughter claims to care so much about. No, no, no. No, no. According to the Daily Telegraph, owned by the same men that own the Ritz, pressure is growing on May to end industrial chaos. And how many of you now are nodding along thinking that you're on the side of the anti-unions? You're on the side of the owners when you haven't got a pot to pee in. But somehow you've been persuaded that you're on the side of the winners because you don't want to be a loser. You don't want to be a loser in a union sticking up for work. No, I'm a winner. I'm a winner. And I'm going to keep telling myself I'm a winner all the way to the knacker's yard with no rights and no pension and no job security. Because what are those people over there who stand up and demand pensions and demand job security and God forbid even demand an occasional pay rise? What are they? Losers, lefties, Marxists, trots. What's an answer to their problem? Ban them from striking. And then the postal service will end up like the prison service and the police service will end up like the prison service and the rail service will end up like the prison service where you and me are both unsafe and the people running it are demoralized to the point of extinction and who wins well you know who wins you don't even need me to tell you who wins who wins the outfit that weighs in to a demoralized service buys it up at a knockdown price because they can only make a profit if you've got two staff per 120 prisoners on a ring and it doesn't matter whether or not there's going to be riots or whether or not there's going to be deaths whether there's going to be murderers because the dividends for the shareholders are flowing freely down the line